So it is currently nine o'clock in the morning and we are at the famous Kinkakuji or Golden Pavilion. It used to be a shogun's villa and when he died he left it to a monk called Lizen, I think, and he turned it into a Zen temple and it then turned into this beautiful golden pavilion thing. I'm not sure how gold is meant to be Zen though, but... There's a silver temple as well, isn't it? There is a... it's locally called a silver temple, it's not actually silver. Yeah, it was kind of a letdown. I don't know, I liked it more. You liked it more because it was quiet. Though. Yeah, and also next to the, the, the silver pavilion there's a path called the Philosopher's Path, which is a really nice walk. It's really quiet and there's loads of cats down there, so... That's why I like it. We thought we'd come early to try and beat the rush. But there's a lot of people here. I mean, it's kind of calmed down at the moment, so maybe now is a good time to go. Like, just after opening time. It opens at 9 a.m. We're going to come and get some footage. And if the tea room is open, maybe go in and have, like, a little cup of green tea and some traditional Japanese sweets, maybe. All right, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. There's quite a few rules for coming in here. Um, one of them is like you're not allowed a big camera rig as we just discovered. So we're filming on the Osmo at the moment. You're not allowed selfie sticks or tripods to take pictures. You have to, everything has to be kind of handheld. I don't think you could even get, maybe a small gimbal you could get away with, but maybe not like a, a big one. 400 yen per person to get in, it's not bad, but there is a lot of people and especially across the other side of the pavilion is where everyone takes pictures. It is quite busy. If you see your chance to take a picture, go and take it and then move on. See a spot in the fence. Just go for it, take a picture, get out. Yeah. came off a of, turn right, go all the way down to the train station, get on the train, get off at Arashiyama. We've come to the town of Arashiyama, uh, which I'm told by someone who speaks Japanese means Storm Mountain. It's famous worldwide for its bamboo forest, which we are currently in. It's very pretty, it's nice and shady, but like a lot of Kyoto, we're finding it's very, very busy. And the locals just seem to, there just seems to be shops everywhere, mostly catering for tourists. So it's become something that was a nice cultural site has become very monetized. And the same with the Kinkakuji though, many more tourists than when I went even last year. But then I did go in the winter, so perhaps that's what changed. At any rate, we're gonna carry on wandering and uh, then we're gonna stop for some lunch 
probably take a rest and then after that we've got plans to go to Fushimi Inari, which is world famous for the red Tori Gates. This is the Bamboo Forest Trail. It's just a very short lap around a secluded section of the forest. It is very quiet. I don't know why. There's not a no talking rule. And that looks like gaffer tape if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, there's no eating, no fires, obviously. Uh, no tripods, no bikes. Yeah, well, some people just don't pay attention to the rules, do they? So. You think you're above the law? I am the law. <laughs> Hundred years in the ISO cubes. <laughs> We've got ice cream, pancake, honey, chocolate sauce, a spoon, sprinkles. I think I run on ice cream and coffee. Yeah, probably. So we're stood in front of Nijo Castle. And uh, this isn't the main castle, this is just one of the like turret things on the sides of the walls. 1603, Tokugawa Ieyasu starts building this castle. And then in about 1626, Tokugawa Iemitsu uh, finishes the castle. They decided that it was around then that not just one palace or castle was enough. So as well as the five-story castle that they had, they also had a palace built. Sadly, the five-story castle did burn down and it was never rebuilt. So they've decided to just kind of leave it how it was. And there's now gardens around there. We're not actually gonna go in today. Uh, there's a 600 yen of uh, head fee. So maybe we'll come back to this one. And if you want to see an actual castle rather than a low-lying palace and you're in the area, I'd recommend seeing Osaka Castle because it actually is a castle and it's not still called a castle after burning down and no longer being there. Osaka Castle is good. This is cool. It's got very pretty gardens, but it is not a castle. It's a palace. It's a palace, but it's not a castle. Everyone calls it Nijo Castle. It's not. So... <laughs> that's the main entrance there. And here is a very tired Vicky. What are we doing? We're heading back, getting some rest, and then we're off to Fushimi and Ari tonight, right? Yeah. Yes, that'll be very good. Dinner time. So Vicky got what did you get? Curry, Curry tom udon. udon, and a bib. And a bib. I I got like uh, beef soba. Yeah. It's a Daki Mas. at Fushimi Inari and it's about half eight. Um, I actually think coming at night time is the best time to come because there's no one here. If you're in Kyoto and you're staying overnight and you want to come here, 
come here overnight. So this shrine is known for the fox gods that live here that are meant to be mischievous but bring good luck and wealth. And also famous for the Thousand Tory Gate forest. I call it a forest. But the Thousand Tory Gates that you can walk under. It does go up a mountain as well. Don't know how far we're gonna get up the mountain because we might get eaten alive by bugs and or wild animals. And we're gonna go look around the temple as well. Yep. Let's go! Okay, so Tori gates you usually will traditionally find in Shinto shrines at the entrance or in this case throughout the entire shrine and Tori gates represent when you pass through it the changing transformation of something from from the mundane to the spiritual so lots of companies have donated Tori gates as like a good luck thing to wish the company good luck in making money and good fortune. So you can also make wishes at these kinds of shrines. Um, usually you get like a little square block thing and you write your wish on it and you hang it up around this area but because Fushimi Inari is like the fox god shrine everything is like fox shaped and it's really cool people have like drawn faces on them. Sounds like it's getting closer. I'd be very happy to turn around. Yeah. Okay, so that was Fushimi Inari. We didn't go further up the mountain because we heard a monkey and it sounded really angry and really close by. There isn't any staff around, so if we got attacked by a monkey, like, we'd be on our own. We went around the normal, like the usual easy route that um, we've been on many times before. It was incredible at night, right? It was incredible. It's so good at night. There's no one here. Well, relatively. Relatively no one here. If you want pictures of this place, yeah. Come bring, at night. Bring a camera good at low light and yes. a fast lens. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna head back to our hotel now, get a nightcap, go to sleep. And tomorrow will be our last day in Kyoto, so... Okay, cool. Let's go. Hey, good morning. It's day three. Morning last day. day three. Yes. Last day. Come to find some breakfast. We're gonna have a relatively chilled out day. Mm. And then we're just gonna head home. We've done a lot. We have. Uh, I'm sure you'll have seen there's a lot of footage already. We thought we'd keep it shorter rather than drag it on. Oh my god, that person's walking their dog. Okay. But in like a pram. Oh dear. Judging a little bit. Uh. Unless the dog always hurt. Anyway, we've come to this place called Franz and Evans. Vicky found it on Google. Yep and it looks really nice they've got like cakes and bakery and deli and salad we'll see how it is hmm. and then uh we're gonna wander around Gion for a little bit and then we're going home
that's the end of our three days here in Kyoto. Um, it's really hot today. It's like insane. really, really hot. I'm dying. Maybe do some more stuff in Kyoto in the future, mm. like Nijo Palace, not Castle, and uh, the Shiyama Bridge, and the uh, Monkey Shrine Park, Kiyomizu Dera. Mm. But yes, until next time, goodbye. Maybe she's just like a weird tree pedophile thing. Mm. I don't know what that's called. I did that not just one parcel was enough. Parcel? It was around. Apparently there be monkeys here. That's probably why people don't come up at night. Maybe. Back to the other thing. Yes, back to the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally as I hear record, I swear.